Hans Meyer's storeroom is filled with artworks worth millions. This is a Julian Schnabel. It's going to Basel. The art dealer wants at least 320,000 euros for the picture. Among the works here are some that have already been sold. This is an environment by Jesus Rafael Soto from Venezuela. It's an installation I exhibited in 1967. In my gallery, I had an exhibition called Art for Architecture, and it was shown there for the first time. And now, 44 years later, it looks as if it's going to a museum in Rio. Hans Meyer is convinced that every piece of art has its day, and he can wait for a long time before he sells. His gallery in Düsseldorf is an important fixture for many art lovers, and his network has grown over the decades. Today, the director of one of Germany's largest museums is stopping by, the Kunstsammlung Nordrhein-Westfalen. Maya shows her his latest finds. In fact, most of his clients are private collectors and not museums, because selling to museums is often a lengthy and complicated process. Maya shows the director a sculpture by Sophie Teuber Arp from 1918. The director remarks that her museum happens to be hosting an exhibition featuring the Swiss artist. Few other people know the art market like Hans Meyer. He's convinced prices will continue to rise. The number of people who are interested in art has grown so much. But the numbers of really high quality pictures and artists capable of producing them aren't increasing at the same rate. So pictures will become very expensive. His workplace is almost a work of art in itself. On the walls hang pictures by famous artists with whom he's worked closely, such as Andy Warhol and Josef Beuys. When I don't have anything to do, I start tidying up. And then I find so much work here and so many ideas that I say, Oh, great. Phone so-or-so or call the artist to see if it's ready yet. That's good. Because when you clear something away or put it on the computer, it just disappears into cyberspace or onto a shelf. Here, I know exactly why every piece is here and also pretty much where it is. Before his pictures go to Basel's renowned international art fair, he hangs them in his gallery to test the effect. It's also really nice to see it from here, this shape of the pilot and the complete abstraction next to the sculpture. Did you know right away that was how you'd hang it? No, no, I didn't. I think I'll change the pedestal too. It's too, too much marble. Maya has been traveling to Basel for 41 years, exhibiting modern art. He often has works other galleries would like to own. But the art market is unpredictable. Hans Maya, too, has sometimes been off the mark and even paid too much for a piece. It was a picture by de Kooning, and I lost a lot of money. If I'd had the time, I could have made a lot of money. But you had to sell it? Yes. How much did you lose? Over a million. That's real money. But that's the exception in his case. Hans Meyer says his business is going well, and he's investing in new gallery quarters opposite Düsseldorf's Kunsthalle Museum. He often goes to take a look at the building site. This is the underfloor heating. It looks like an early picture by Frank Stella. It really should be exposed and left that way. It's wonderful, of course. There'll be a suspended ceiling at a height of 4 meters 80. 
It'll be a cathedral of art. Is this the gallery you've always dreamed of? I think it is. Even though Hans Meyer is 72, he has no intention of retiring. He enjoys his work too much. He gets inspiration from the park opposite his new gallery, where there's a sculpture by Henry Moore. He didn't sell it himself, but he likes it anyway.